I wasn't planning on documenting anything. I just liked to take photos. And I started noticing some things that I thought people in cars didn't notice. So after a while, I put some of them on a blog, some of my photos on a blog, and people liked it. They said, oh, I've never seen that before. I've lived in Flagstaff for many years. But it's because people stay in their cars, of course. Well, I don't have a car, I don't want a car. I got a driver's license, but I walk. And when you walk, you see a lot of stuff. Even in a small town? <laughs> Especially in a small town. Fantastic, thanks. It's an Olympus. I like its grip. I like its 30X zoom. It's got a heft to it. If I have to defend myself. Ah! <laughs> I used to get uh, angry when I first started walking at people in cars because all the noise that cars makes. And then I start, started feeling uh, sorry for them. I thought, gosh, they're locked in those little boxes. They're not breathing the air. They're not seeing what I'm seeing. They're not feeling the sun on them. So I started praying for them. <laughs> My anger went away. <laughs> oh, Lord, help these people get out of their boxes. I'm feeling a pull up that way. I'm not going anywhere. There's no hurry. There's especially no hurry. If all, all I'm going to do next is put this next foot forward. <laughs> and I'm going to be right there now. <laughs> so what's the big rush, you know? Besides, I've paid my dues to society. I have been locked in boxes enough, and so I'm set free. I hope everybody gets set free one day. I got a lot of cat photos. There are a lot of cats in the window. So I like to pun. I was going to call it cat. Cat innuendo. <laughs> I'm easily amused. <laughs>